Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'm trying to start off the new year with a bang. So one of the things that I want to do this year, no ifs, ands, or buts, is organizing all my layouts. I must have, and I'm, I wish I was exaggerating, but over a thousand pages that need to, one, have pictures put in them, two, journaling, and three, put them into albums. So what I'm going to do is every Tuesday or Monday, I'm going to pick a day, I'm going to spend an hour going through some layouts and dividing them in three piles. One, one that's all finished. For example, this one is all done. It's got the date. It's got the journaling. It just needs to be put in an album. So that's going to be one pile. Then there's going to be another pile that just needs the journaling. That's going to be another pile. Then there's going to be another pile that needs the journaling and the pictures. And those, I might do something a little different with those and, you know, have maybe a live with my patrons and, Let's put some pictures into some layouts, you know. So let's let's start with that. And for you today, you're going to see a whole bunch of layouts that I did either on Patreon, either on, you know, some scrap some classes. There's all kinds here. I must have close to 100 pages here. So, and these things here, I already have the pictures, like... I don't know if they're, oh, I think they're still at um, the pharmacy where I get them printed. We need to go get them. But I have the pictures for that. So then I'm, I just, it's of Lexi, you know, her first Halloween. So we'll put some pictures, a little bit of journaling, and we'll be done. And we can put it in the 2023 album for sure. Then same thing with this, you know, this is... Um, a Christmas one. You know what? We didn't do a gingerbread house this year, but that's okay. We'll just put a picture here of the holidays. So that's another one that needs journaling and pictures. So, and this one here, the picture's already there. This was done. I'm pretty sure this was done during the Scrapathon 11. So this just needs some journaling. And it's all words about Lexi. So how am I going to do this? We have to make sure that we have three spots here. Okay. This is of Lexi's baby shower. I just need to do a little bit of journaling. And this one is done. It was bee themed. So everything is, you know, this looks like a little beehive. Okay, this one here just needs journaling. It's got pictures. This one here, I oh, love this page. This was from Scrapathon 11. Love this page. This needs, this actually has, you know, the title is kind of the journaling too. So I just need a picture. Oh, look at this one. This one doesn't need journaling. It, you know, the many faces of Lexi. So this can just go right here. This is from our trip. This just needs a little bit of journaling. So what I'm going to do is like, let's say like today, today I'm separating everything and I had to, ha I did have a lot of things to do today. So I think once I'm done this video, I'm not going to jump right in and do some of this. I might, I may not. I have to figure out what, you know, we're having for supper and everything. So this, I can do a little bit of journaling. But at least if it's divided, then I can say tomorrow I'm going to tackle that pile or I'm going to tackle this pile, you know, and kind of save myself this step. Because this, I'm going to find a spot in my room now and they're going to be together and I'm going to tackle that pile until this pile is gone. My hope is to do 25 pages a week. If I can do more, I certainly will. I love that two page spread by the way this needs both cute as a button this really it doesn't need anything 
So we'll put it there to put it away. This here just needs a little bit of journaling and the date journaling there. This needs both. I love this. This was another Scrapathon uh, layout. Scrapathon is still available, and I think I, I think it's on for fifteen dollars right now. So if you want to make, you know, all these pages, um, go get it uh, now before I. I hiked the price back up to $40, which will probably happen in the next week or so. I just forgot about it. Okay, now this, this just needs journaling. This needs both. Oh, I love this one too. This is from Scrapathon 2. Look how gorgeous that is. This needs both. It's going to go right there. This just needs nothing. I'm going to put it there, so I'm going to... Put the date on it. I do have to put the date. And then I'll put it in an album. That was at the wedding we went to last summer. Isn't that gorgeous? So I do want to put like July 2024. Maybe I can do that right now. Where could I put that? You know? I want to put it so it looks okay. I want to put it so it looks okay. You know what? I got a new little stamp set, finally, that has, or July 2023, that it has the year that I need. So you know what? I'm going to put it with that I need to do something, and I'm going to stamp the date. Because I like to stamp like three times. So we'll do that for that one. This one just needs a little bit of journaling and the date. Perfect. I bought this off of Amazon because I'd rather stamp it than write it. So... Again, another page from Scrapathon, that one too. Just a little bit of journaling. Oh, I love that. Okay, this one is probably not one of my favorites, but I was trying to use red. But it's okay. You know, it's a page in the books. It's all good. Ooh, this is another Scrapathon layout. I love this. So this one needs very little. And then it can be put away. This one needs journaling. Love that. Ooh, I love this one too. This just needs the date. So I'll stamp the date and I can put that away. So what I'll do is, you know, let's say if I journal one whole one, you know, if I find there's not a lot to put away, I'll journal a whole bunch and then I'll put all the layouts away because what most of my albums are downstairs now, so I lit physically have to take all these and bring them downstairs. So this is cute. This is from this, this summer, so it just needs a little bit of journaling, strawberry picking. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Look at this one. She's so stinking adorable. So now I'm going to do a little bit of journaling there, and that is done. Oh, this is probably... One of my favorites because of the photo. Look at that. So stinking adorable. Love it. <laughs> this is another um, Scrapathon. Gorgeous. She doesn't look anything like that now. So cute. She's double that amount of months now. Actually, this one, probably just the date. So I'll put it there. Okay, now, this needs both. This is gorgeous, too. That was a Scrapathon. Oh, that was a fun technique. This is Scrapathon, too. Needs journaling. I don't know what we did this for. I think this, oh, I think that was Scrapathon, too. Yeah, I did it two different ways. That's cute. It needs both. That was Scrapathon. It needs journaling and date. Oh, I love this one. This was Scrapathon. Also, just got to put a photo and journaling. This was Scrapathon. This just needs maybe the date. This. Oh. That moved. That does not belong there. I think it's just, 
it changed. It should be this way. It just slid over. I think it goes like that. So let's put, so that's what's great like with doing this too is if things like that happen, you just fix it, right? Fix it. So this just needs a date. So we'll put it right here. Just like that. I wanna do a lot of organizing in my scrap room this year too. And this is kind of like the first part because like there's a whole desk that I can't use because of these layouts. Not the first part, but I'm gonna do a whole lot of different things, but this we used a stamp and we colored it in. Love that, but we gotta add some pictures. This just needs maybe a little journaling and the date. Oh, this is pretty too. This just need the date, maybe a little journaling. Same thing here. This is getting to be older, older layouts here. This just needs the date. I didn't put the date. This was in uh, August, 2020. This too, I don't have the date. I'm so bad that I do that. I need to put the dates. So I've got to do that. Oh, look how little Mason is. Oh my gosh, he's so little. He's about the age of, of Lexi now. Oh, so I already have. But I don't have the date. Come on. So I got to figure out. So that was probably 2013. Yeah, that was, that was 2013. <sighs> so I need to be better. See, July 2020, a little bit of journaling. This one's done. I can put that one away. This one here, I can figure out. A little bit of journaling, the date. Same with this. Some of these are going to take... A bit of time because I have to figure out when this was you know and and do the journaling smart put the date 2020 I just got to do the journaling this you know I have to say okay well that wasn't the year he was born was he you know ugh. if I can find the picture then I can find the date then this needs a little bit of journaling date this needs journaling and date. This too. <laughs> ah. Okay. This I know is 2019 or 2019 because that's when I went on the cruise. So at least I know the year, but I got to do the journaling. And that's what I'll do when I go through the pile. I'll go, okay, these, I know exactly when it is. So I'll do those first. And then the ones that I don't know, oh, it's a little bit more um, figuring out. Oh, May 2021, look at that. Why is this all sticky? So I'll put the, this one to the side there because it was sticking on another page. August 2020. Thank you. And it's journaled. Yay. This one is journaled too. So this goes in the finished pile and then put away. This, that was 2022 also. That's, oh, it's 20. Oh, that's the New York trip. That is 2018. That goes there because it's journaled and everything. Tree Huggers, July 2020. I don't think I need journaling on that. Kind of says, kind of says everything. Oh, I like that. That was in 2020 also. Just a little bit of journaling. Oh, hold was Mason there. He was number 11. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. And put the date and everything. What is this? Oh, that's 2020. That's 2020. 
That's 2020. You gotta do some journaling. This needs a picture. Oh, I think this was the year before. That needs journaling. That needs journaling. Journaling and date. Journaling. Journaling and date. Oh yeah. Mason, that was the that was probably 2013. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. So that was during my cruise. So I'll put the date and put that. That needs the date and journaling. This ah it needs the date. Seriously? Okay, well, I can't put it in the finished pile. This needs date and journaling. I need to do that. Oh, especially pi pictures like this, right? When I did the layout, I knew exactly when it was. So put the date. Just take a second and put the date. How many times have I said that over the years? Obviously, I'm a hard learner. <laughs> Takes me a while to learn. Okay, this, this is done. I don't need journaling. Um, I know it's my trip, so I'll put it in the album with the trip. That's fine. That needs journaling. We're almost done. And those will be the first layouts that I work on. So for today, we'll just go through this, show you what I'm going to be working on. And then uh, the next video, I'll show you how I'm going to set up and kind of make it work to my advantage so that I work the least amount. Okay, well, that needs a date. Okay. Yeah, that needs a date. <laughs> At least I know when it is. It's August 2020. This is last year, like 2022, I guess two years ago, year and a half ago but I still have to put the date. This, I have to put, I have to, have to try to figure out when this was and put a date. Ah, so bad. And this, I know where it was. Like I said, if it's a trip, it's easy. But if it's not a trip, then it's not good. So look at the difference. This is how many, actually, oh, actually this one doesn't even have a date. This is how many, and this one doesn't have a date. Oh, yes, it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, <laughs> just like Monica, seven, seven layouts that I have the date on. That's atrocious. That is definitely something I need to fix this year is get the date on the layout. Even if I just scribble it on the back, like here this morning, I did this. Let's. You know, scribble. I did scribble it on the back. So, good job. Um, and then, when I go to do the journaling, it's not so bad. Like I said, a trip, you can figure it out. But just this, I don't know when that was. And hopefully, I can find the picture and then the date will be on it. But, <sighs> so I have my work cut out for me. This was probably 75 layouts maybe and I have about a thousand so I need to do this like you know well if I do a hundred then ten times but more than ten times we'll say that I have to do this go through it start journaling if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I want to thank you so much for watching bye